Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In the late 19th century, the heads of the biggest corporations in America, the robber barons, got together and they set rates, they set prices, they determined how they would control information flow, they determined how they get rid of competition. And uh, I'll be darned if we aren't right back there again, except for this time, you're the robber barons. Your companies are the most powerful companies in the world, and I wanna talk about how you're coordinating together to control information. In recent days, my office was contacted by a Facebook whistleblower, a former employee of the company with direct knowledge of the company's content moderation practices. And I wanna start by talking about an internal platform called Tasks that Facebook uses to coordinate projects, including censorship. The Tasks platform allows Facebook employees to communicate about projects they're working on together. That includes Facebook censorship teams, including the so-called community well-being team, the integrity team, and the hate speech engineering team, who all use the task platform to discuss which individuals or hashtags or websites to ban. Now, Mr. Zuckerberg, you're familiar with the task platform, aren't you? Uh, Senator, uh, we use the, the task system for, um, I, I think it's, as you say, for people coordinating all kinds of uh, work across the company, although I, I'm not sure if I'd agree with the characterization specifically um, around content moderation that you gave. Well, uh, let's get into that. Uh, and let me see if we can refresh your memory and, and provide folks at home watching with an example. Here over my shoulder is an example. It's a screenshot of the task platform in use. You'll notice if the cameras zoom in, several references to election integrity throughout on these lists of tasks. Again, this is shared across Facebook sites, uh, company locations, by working groups. What particularly intrigued me is that the platform reflects censorship input from Google and Twitter as well. So Facebook, as I understand it, Facebook censorship teams communicate with their counterparts at Twitter and Google and then enter those company suggestions for censorship onto the task platform so that Facebook can then follow up with them and effectively coordinate their censorship efforts. So Mr. Zuckerberg, let me just ask you directly under oath now, does Facebook coordinate its content moderation policies or efforts in any way with Google or Twitter? Senator, let me be clear about this. Uh, we, uh, we do coordinate on and, and share signals on security related topics. Uh, so, for example, if there is a um, signal around a terrorist attack or around child exploitation imagery or around a foreign government uh, creating an influence operation, that is an area where the companies um, do share signals about what they see. But I think it's important to be very clear that that is distinct from the content moderation policies uh, that we or the other companies have where once we share intelligence or signals between the companies, uh, each company makes its own assessment of the right way to address uh, and deal with that information. Well, I, I'm talking about content moderation. I'm talking about individuals, websites, hashtags, phrases to ban. Is it your testimony that you do not communicate with Twitter or Google about content moderation, about individuals, websites, phrases, hashtags, to ban, just yes or no, do you communicate with Twitter or Google about coordinating your policies in this way? Senator, we do not coordinate our policies. Do your Facebook content moderation teams communicate with their counterparts at Twitter or Google? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of anything specific, but I, I think it would be uh, probably pretty normal for people to talk to their, their peers and colleagues in the industry. It would but be normal, but you don't do it? No, I, I, I'm, I'm saying that I, I, I'm not aware of any particular conversation, but I would expect that some level of, of communication probably happens. Ah, but that's well, different from coordinating uh, what our policies are or our responses in specific instances. Well, fortunately, I understand that the task platform is searchable. So will you provide a list of every mention of Google or Twitter from the tasks platform to this committee? Senator, that's something that I can follow up with you and your team after on. Well, uh, yes or no, I'm, I'm sure you can follow up with the list, but why don't you commit while I've got you here under oath? It's so much better to do this under oath. Will you commit now to providing a list from the tasks platform of every mention of Google or Twitter? 
Senator, respectfully, I'm, I'm without having looked into this, I'm not aware of any sensitivity that might exist around that. So I don't think it would be uh, wise for me to commit to that right now. But so I would be happy to follow. How many items on the task platform reflect that Facebook, Twitter, and Google are sharing information about websites or hashtags or platforms that they want to suppress? Senator, I, I, I do not know. Uh, will you provide a list of every website and hashtag that Facebook content moderation teams have discussed banning on the task platform? Senator, again, I would be happy to follow up with you or your team uh, to discuss further how we might move forward on that. But without just will you commit to it here? You, Senator Cruz and Senator Lee both asked you for lists of individuals, websites, entities that have been subject to content moderation. You expressed doubt about whether any such information exists, but you've also now said that the task website, you've, you've, you've acknowledged the task platform exists, that it is searchable. So will you commit to providing the information you have logged on the task website about content moderation that your company has undertaken? Yes or no? Senator, I think it would be better to, to follow up once I've had a chance to discuss with my team what any sensitivity around that would be uh, that um, th that might prevent um, the, the kind of sharing that you're talking about. But once I've done that, I would be happy to, to follow up. All right. So you won't you won't commit to do it here. We could, of course, subpoena this information, but I'd much rather get it from you voluntarily. But I think let everybody take note that, that Mr. Zuckerberg has now repeatedly refused to provide information that he knows that he has and has now acknowledged that he has that tasks has under oath. Let me let me switch to a different topic. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, tell me about Centra. What is the Facebook internal tool called Centra? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of any tool with that name. Mm. Well, Matt, let me see if this refreshes your memory. There's a demonstrative now over my shoulder. Centra is a tool that Facebook uses to track its users, not just on Facebook, but across the entire internet. Centra tracks different profiles that a user visits, their message recipients, their linked accounts, the pages they visit around the web that have Facebook buttons. Centra also uses behavioral data to monitor users' accounts, even if those accounts are registered under a different name. And you can see a shot here, a screenshot provided to us of the Centra platform. We blocked out the user's name in the interest of privacy, although you can see this individual's birth date and age when they first started using Facebook, their last login, as well as all manner of trackings. How many different devices have they used to ask, access Facebook? How many different accounts are associated with their name? What accounts have they visited? What photos have they tagged? And on and on and on. Mr. Zuckerberg, how many accounts in the United States have been subject to review and shut down through Centra? Uh, Senator, I do not know because I'm not actually familiar with the name of that tool. I'm sure that we have tools that help us with uh, our, our platform and community integrity work. Um, but I, I am not familiar with that name. Do you have a tool that does exactly what I've described and that you can see here over my shoulder? Or are you saying that that doesn't exist? Senator, I, I'm saying that I'm not familiar with it and that I, I'd be happy to follow up uh, and, and uh, get you and your team the information that, that you would like on this. Um, but I, I'm, I'm limited in what I can, what, what I'm familiar with and can share today. It's always amazing to me, Mr. Chairman, how many people before this committee suddenly develop amnesia. Maybe it is something about the air in the room. Let me ask you this. When a Facebook employee accesses a user's private information, like their private messages or their personally identifiable data, is a record made of that, Mr. Zuckerberg? Sorry, Sorry, Senator, can you repeat that? Is a record made of any time a Facebook employee accesses a user's private information, personal identify, identifiable information, for example, messages? Is a record made any time a Facebook employee does that? Uh, Senator, I believe so. Does it trigger an audit? Uh, Senator, I think sometimes it, it may. Um, How many audits have staff? been conducted? Senator, I do not know the exact number of can audits. Can you give me a list? Um, Senator, we can follow up on, on, on that to, to, to see what would be useful here. Will you, I'm, I'm almost finished, Mr. Chairman. Will you commit to giving us a list of the number of times Facebook employees have accessed users' personal account information without their knowledge? Yes or no? Uh, Senator, we should follow up on what would be useful here. It is... Of course, in the operations of the company, um, if someone reports something, 
uh, sometimes necessary for, for people at the company to go review and understand the context around uh, what is happening when, when someone reports something. So uh, this is fairly frequent and is is a matter of course. We, we do uh, have security systems that can detect anomalous patterns to, to flag, um, but we should follow up in more detail on, on what uh, you're interested in. Mr. Chairman, I'll just say uh, in closing that what we have here is clear evidence of coordination between Twitter, Google, and Facebook. Mr. Zuckerberg knows he has the tools to track this, but he, won't, he either doesn't remember or won't commit to letting us see it. We have evidence of Facebook tracking its own users all across the web. Mr. Zuckerberg won't answer questions about it, can't remember the name, isn't sure if the tool is deployed in this way, and won't commit to giving us basic information. I submit to you that this is both totally unacceptable and totally predictable, because it is exactly what these tech companies have done to the American people and to Congress for years now, which is why it is time we took action against these modern-day robber barons. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.